Hey y'all and welcome to part 2 of 1.19 Client Side Mods. So sit down, buckle up, and let's go. So the first one on the list involves our oxalotls over here. So this is possibly one of my most favorite choices that I chose for this part 2 top 5 mods for 1.19. Now this does involve oxalotls, but also involves, ew, involves the buckets, if I could speak correctly, where when you grab this and pick up an oxalotl, so let's fill them up with some water, and let's grab a pink, oh, missed it, grab a, let's jump it. <laughs> And grab a pink one. There we go. So we have a pink one. Oh, and we got an achievement. So as always, you have that pink oxalotl in your taskbar for when you pick up an oxalotl in a bucket. But we also are able to do, when we pick up a different color, this mod actually keeps it per the color it is with your oxalotl. And now that is a mod worth having. For our second mod of today, we actually have better third person mod. So this allows you to do a full 360 around your character. You can change and to go from this way and then walk backwards however you want to face while you are going around you can face any direction so that makes it the better third person mod Ooh, look at that cinematic around me i am gorgeous for our third client side mod we actually have the replanter mod which it says it in the title, it replants. So I have these wheat seeds in my hand and I come up and right click, automatically replants it right back in. Now for this to work, you do have to have it in your hand to do so. Like if we grab the carrots and we try to right click, it replants seeds instead. So if we go over and actually have carrots in our hand, it replants the carrots, which is actually really useful as how fast this goes through. So you can just rip through and go on with your other tasks. Now this does work with the potatoes. Um, it works with beets. It works with cocoa beans, which you do have to have an iron axe or a bow, but it works. It works with nether wart. It pretty much works with anything that grows. For our fourth client side mod, we actually have one that is tool stats. So what it does is shows you the enchants on it, shows you harvest level, mining efficiency, chant ability, tool durability. So all of that is actually on here. So you can go through and look. I got 1.6 attack speed, 6 attack damage, 2 harvest level, 6 digging speed. And I mean, just keep on going. And you can see how each one is different. And I put some random enchants actually on it. So let's go ahead and let's damage this bow out a little bit and shoot it up a bit. And let's check it, and yes, you can see it has durability of 379. So now we actually have the durability on here. We can see what is left on and how many shots we got left to go before our lovely tool is broken. And with that, with all of these, it actually helps us see with... Uh, how good of a tool they actually are in our mining or digging or which is still mining I think process as we go through our life in our Minecraft world that is what I'm trying to say and that's what I'm trying to stick with so on to the fifth mod for our fifth and final one we have Toro health damage indicators 
So as you can see, that what keeps popping up in the top left of my screen, walk up to this cow, you have their health bar. And every time you hit them, it lets you know how much hearts you actually took from that mob. And boom, this also helps with players as well. You can see if you are actually fighting in some PvP mini game somewhere. Or if you're just wanting to beat your friends for no reason, you are able to use this and see how much hearts and how much damage left until you have won the fight. And yes, it's client side. Is it cheating? Maybe in mini games, but not in survival. As I stand here next to my Oxalato friends, I want to thank you for coming out to the part two of the 1.19 client side mods. And as always, stay crafty, y'all. Oh, and the mod links are in the description if you want them. Bye.